Hello everyone, welcome to Web Dev Metrics. In this video, we are going to see how to debug your web application or JavaScript using a VS Code. So, I have this simple application in which I have an HTML file that is importing a JavaScript file and a styling. So, I will go to my JavaScript file which I want to debug. Okay, so I'll attach few debuggers over here. The way we do it is you can see the line numbers over here. So if you hover on any of the line number, then you can see a red dot. So you just have to click on the red dot that will attach a debugger over here. So I'll attach few debuggers over here. And now what you have to do is you just have to ensure that you have an extension installed, which is JavaScript debugger. The previous version was debugger for Chrome, which is now deprecated in fear of this. So you have to install this and enable it. Now what you have to do is you have to go to your file again and then you have to start debugging. Okay. The option is under run, start debugging. Then you have to select the web app over here so this creates a launch.json file if it is not already created now you have to ensure that the right port number is entered in the url okay so i am using a live server to to run my html javascript file and it automatically creates port 5500 okay so i will enter the same port number over here okay now what i have to do is i have to go to run and and debug on the left hand pane and i have to click on launch chrome okay so now this launches my application and you can see the debugger is now attached over here right and uh, now i can just play around with the debug tools over here so this is used to continue the execution it will just pause on the next debugger if there is any available in the file so let me attach the debugger here as well and you can see that it just resumed and just paused on the next available debugger all right so let me resume again so you can see that uh, there is no other debugger in the flow over here it will only come to this inside this if a button is clicked okay so now let me just restart the debugger again the way you can do it is you can click on this or you can again launch the debugger from from this green button over here okay now few other controls related to the debugger now if you want if i want to see the variable values over there right so you can hover on any of the variables that is one way the other way is that you can see all of them grouped on the left hand pane under the variables so you can see all the variables related to this script over here under the script and then you can see all the global variables or the methods under global all right uh, and then you can see the call stack over here if there is a lot of nested call then all of them will go to the call stack and you will see all the breakpoints attached over here under the breakpoints all right uh, and there's a quick option if you want to remove all the breakpoints then there's a quick option available over here you can also remove the debugger by clicking on the same debugger statement again this will remove the debugger all right uh now let's see some of the other debugger tools over here so first is like step over so step word is used to move to the next line next statement in your script so if i click on it then it should go to line number 13 then if i click on it again then it will go to the line number 14 okay now coming to step into so step into will go to a function an estate function if there's a function call then it will go to that function so if i right click on this then you can see that there's an option to add a breakpoint which was a debugger then there's another option to add a conditional breakpoint okay so let's see how it works so let me try to attach it over over here add a conditional breakpoint now you can see that there's an option to add an expression over here right so what this means is you can add an expression only if that expression is true then only the debugger will be attached otherwise it won't work so i will just add numbers equal to equal to one so i want a debugger to only stop if the value of the numbers is one after entering the expression you have to press enter key and it will add the expression the conditional debugger over here 
which is visible through sort of different icon. Uh, now let's see that into action. So let's launch this again and resume it. So first let me try a false scenario where I entered 12. Then you can see that it stopped over here but it, it didn't stop over here. Let me remove this. Okay, now let's try with 1. It's our condition. I can see that it stopped over here. It was the condition, the expression was true. So that is conditional debugger. It is quite helpful if you want to debug your code in only a specific scenario. You don't want your debugger to be hit every time. Uh, okay. So now let's talk about another kind of uh, debugger which is a lot point. So if I click on it, then you can see that it shows me a lot message which I can enter over here. So you can enter any message in the form of string. In case you want to execute any JavaScript, then you have to use this curly braces to add the expression. So suppose I just want to output the variable, which is numbers. Okay. And let's try to add another expression, say two plus three. Okay, this is just a random string. You can try anything. Uh, so if I hit enter now, then you can see that it's coming with a diamond shape. Now this should print, if I enter 1 as a number, then it should print number is 1 and then 3 plus 2, it should output as 5, right? So let's see that into action. Submitting again. Now you can see that didn't stop the execution because this is just a lot message. It should print that into the on my terminal. So I have made a slight mistake. Let me try to edit the lot point. So instead of number it's numbers right so let me modify that so now run this submit this again now you can see that the output is number is one and then space five okay so that is a way that you can add any expression or any log message to your uh to your terminal uh okay let me submit again so suppose you want to execute any code on runtime rather than a lot message or conditional statement you want to execute some javascript on the fly while your application is running then you can go to the debug console and you can also execute over here okay so let's try to enter numbers then you can see the numbers over here so i can do any execution on the runtime while my application is running using the variables the methods everything on my debug console i can also invoke this method which is available over here by passing array okay so you can see that this worked fine right so those are those are the controls that are available uh, on the vs code for debugging now if you just have a plain node.js file uh, not an application like like this script right then you don't need uh, this extension you can directly you don't need the javascript debugger extension you can directly debug it so the way we do it here so okay yeah i clicked on start debugging then you can see that it directly stopped the execution over here so this works out of the box if you just have a javascript file uh, then uh, vs code uh, by default supports it you just have to add the debugger and you have to click on run and start debugging okay so that was about the javascript or a node.js file now let's see that if we have a react application then how to debug that so i have another react application over here which is this one so let's try to debug this application so you can see that uh, i created this using uh, using create react app okay and uh, this has an npm start statement so i just want to add a debugger in my app.js okay so the way we do it is somewhat similar so i have to ensure that i have that instruction install javascript debugger and the other thing i have to do is i have to start this application okay so let's do npm start which is the script over here now this will first of all this will launch my application okay so suppose i want to add a debugger in my app 
Node.js. Okay, so I'll click on Run and click on Start Debugging. This will show me the option. So you have to select Web App Chrome over here. That will open a launch.json file. Now you have to ensure that the correct port number is entered over here. So this application runs on um, the React app runs on 3000 ports. So I'll enter 3000 over here and I'll just save it. Okay. Now I'll go to this tab and click on launch Chrome. Okay. So now you can see that it launched my application again and then it just stopped the debugger. Now you have the same controls available over here to step over, step into, and similarly you can leverage conditional red point, lock point. Okay, so if you have any other uh, application, say in view frame, uh, view framework or Angular framework, then you can follow something similar. You just have to ensure that the correct port number is added over here, and that shall work fine. So. This was all about debugging in Visual Studio Code. So if you're new to the channel, then please show some support by subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you very much.